Welcome you all in this our lecture series program. Today we are going to talk about historical linguistics. This topic is from the contents and introduction to linguistics semester two. Here are the outlines we are going to discuss today. Number one, Indo-European tree. Two contrastive branches, diachronic versus synchronic, as we already have talked about these two branches in our previous lectures. You may watch. Uh, the complete video lectures on these two, you may find links into the description box. Domains of historical linguistics, cognates, dialects, English history. These are some of the areas we are going to discuss in our today's lecture. So without a further go, let's get started our topic. Here is the definition from the book Longman Dictionary of Language Teaching and Applied Linguistics. Historical linguistics, we also call it comparative historical linguistics, also comparative philology or only philology. These are some of the possible names of historical linguistics. Historical linguistics is a branch of linguistics which studies language change and language relationships. So when we are talking about uh, historical linguistics, we are talking about basically how language changes over a period of time and what are the relations of languages, the old languages and the modern languages. By comparing earlier and later forms of language and by comparing different languages, it has been possible to show that certain languages are related. So there are actually comparisons of the earlier languages and the later languages. Yahan pe agar hum baat kare language ki to language mein jo tabdiliyan tarikh ke hisab se aati hain ya jo relations hote hain languages ke andar aur ye sari cheeze hum historical linguistics ke andar discuss karte hain aur basically historical linguistics ko pehle philology kaha jata tha jo ki modern ab jo hai usko hum linguistics kehte hain. Here, the example of uh, language change and language relations is the Indo-European languages, basically. So here is actually the chart of uh, the Indo-European family, Proto-Indo-European, 5000 BC, uh, old language. And from that, you see Indo-Iranian language is there, uh, which, is, uh, or which has two, basically, uh, the languages, Indic and Iranian. Within Indic, you see Hindi, Urdu, Bengali, Marathi, and if you're talking about uh, Iranian languages, Farsi, Pashto, Kurdish, uh, Tajik. So this is all about when we talk about a Roman language, a Celtic language. So you see how languages, they change and they have relations. The very basic or origin of these all languages. This definition is taken from Britannica.com. Historical linguistics are also called diachronic linguistics. We already have talked about diachronic linguistics in our previous lectures. The branch of linguistics concerned with the study of uh, phonological, grammatical, and semantic changes. For example, semantic change. In Old English, the word land means both. Number one, the solid of earth surface. And number two, the territory of a nation. In the modern English period, the word country was borrowed as its synonym of the territory of a nation. So, usually these changes are semantic changes uh, uh, are part of historical linguistics or we call it diachronic linguistics. Here is another definition from Britannica.com. Historical linguistics had its roots in the etymological speculations of classical and medieval times. In the comparative study of Greek and Latin developed during the Renaissance and in the speculations of his scholars as to the language from which the other languages of the world were descended. Here we are going to talk about that historical linguistics is based on etymological speculation which is from classical or medieval times. What are that etymological speculations from the olden times? For example, goodbye, which we use it today. This word is actually taken from good by in this form. And this is actually uh, taken from or is composed of God plus B plus with 
प्लस जी द वर्ड विज ए गुड इज केम फ्रॉम गॉड एंड द वर्ड यू केम फ्रॉम जी सो इट वुड हैव बीन गॉड आर गुड बी विथ यू सो इन दिस रिगार्ड वी आर यूजिंग द वर्ड हिस्टोरिकल एंड डिस्क्रिप्टिव लिंग्विस्टिक्स it grew out of early discipline of uh, philology the story of ancient texts and documents dating back to antiquity we already have talked about that this discipline historical linguistics uh, was called as philology and philology was the study of uh, language and the language was historically studied the study of linguistics is divided into numerous branches two of it most contrastive branches are here number one historical linguistics and number two descriptive linguistics these are named by saussure as diachronic linguistics saussure called historical linguistics as diachronic linguistics and uh, descriptive linguistics as synchronic linguistics so diachronic and synchronic linguistics are actually the names of historical linguistics and descriptive linguistics when we talk about synchronic or diachronic linguistics the diachronic literally means history calling that is why this field of linguistics has been named as diachronic linguistics diachronic linguistics basically means history calling while descriptive linguistics investigates and attributes to the linguistic data a uniform status of linguistics simultaneity without any regard for this factor and when we talk about descriptive linguistics we are talking about the study of language in current time synchronic means the study of language at a given time that is why this approach of studying languages has been named as synchronic linguistics so as we already have talked about that uh, the modern uh, times study of language is called synchronic study domains of historical linguistics historical linguistics is that branch of linguistics which focuses on the interconnections between different languages in the world now these are some of the domains of historical linguistics we are focusing on interconnection of languages as we talked about in indo european languages number 2 it studies their historical development how language historically developed number 3 investigate how language is evolve and changes through time how multiple offspring languages can arise from one past parent language how cultural con- contact between speakers of different languages can influence language development and evolution these are certain domains of historical linguistics we talk about we consider cognates as a domain of historical linguistics a cognate is a word that is related in origin to another word such as the english word brother and the german word brother or for example the english word history and the spanish word historia so these words are actually cognates which are having related origins cognates are often derived from roman languages french spanish italian so most of the uh, cognate words are taken from roman languages or these branches of languages in a very short or simple we may understand that words have common origins or they have relations like the word brother and brother history and historia the words were derived from the same source as they are cognates like cousins tracing their ancestry because they come from the same origin cognates have similar meanings and often similar spellings in two different languages so this is all about when we talk about the historical study of language we talk about cognates and cognates uh, are the words uh, having same origin and having to some extent differences here is another area of historical linguistics and that is dialect if multiple languages can be shown to have 
come from the same common root which the linguists uh, assume to have happened, then what is the historical process that ultimately leads to their separation into different languages? This is actually a question. If we're talking about multiple languages, so what would have been the differences of languages historical process we are talking about? One possible answer of this question is the formation of dialects. A dialect can be defined as the geographical or social subdivision of a language that differs systematically from other such subdivisions of the same language in its vocabulary, grammar, and phonology. So dialect is actually a change, a geographical change or social subdivision within a language. And uh, those changes uh, could have been in vocabulary, grammar, or phonology. Here we are talking about historical linguistics according to English. Language of Germanic tribes gave rise to English language, and this is one of the fact. Angles, Saxons, Jutes, and possibly some Franks were most of the best known Germanic tribes that lived alongside Latin speaking people, which included some words of their vocabulary to the Proto English language before the arrival to Angle land. So, how England came into being. Uh, by these tribes are by the combination of Angles, Saxons, and Jews. They were basically the German tribes. So historically, we are talking about that most of uh, different tribes came with the different languages and they um, formulated another language. So this is uh, the history of uh, English language or the language of England. Certain Historical changes we consider our study in historical linguistics. Thanks for attention. Thank you very much. Hopefully this would have been very helping for all of you.